when 70% of a number x is added to another number y, the sum becomes 165% of the value of y. So we can represent this in the form of equation as such. Let's simplify, cancelling 0, 0, cancelling by 5 tables, 33, 20. Now I'm multiplying the whole equation by 20, so 7 into 20 by 10, x plus 20y is equal to 33y, which gives us 14x is equal to 13y. So x equals 13 by 14y. We know that 13 by 14 is less than 1. So now x will be 0 point something y. When you multiply something lesser than 1, the value is going to decrease, right? So with this, we can conclude that x is lesser than y. The next statement says 60% of a number x is added to another number z. Then the sum becomes 165% of the value of z. We can represent that in the form of an equation. Cancelling out in 5 tables, we get 33 by 20. Here we get 3 by 5. Multiplying throughout with 20, we get 20 into 3 by 5x plus 20z is equal to 33z, which will be 12x is equal to 13z. So x is equal to 13 by 12z. Now we know 13 by 12 is greater than 1 because it will be 1 point something. So x is equal to 1 point something z. When a value is multiplied with a number greater than 1, the value is going to increase. So we can conclude that x is greater than z. Now let's write this in a single line which will give us x is greater than z but lesser than y. So option A is the right answer.